place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Hey my babes, what's up? Welcome back to a new vlog. Okay, so today has been very chaotic. It is Friday. I ran to the mall this morning, but I've also been working a ton and I'm still on my waking up early game. So today I woke up at 7.30. I'm a bit tired, but I have been enjoying it. So I immediately pretty much start working at like eight o'clock, which is two hours before anybody gets online on my team. <laughs> so I got like really ahead. So I felt like I could go to the mall, run some quick errands because I wanted to do it ahead of the weekend before like it gets too busy and all of like that sort of stuff. This is gonna sound so insane, but at like 11.30 last night, I couldn't like sleep. So then I started to rearrange my office. And then this morning I was rearranging it like even more so, but I want to rearrange it even more. Like right now, like why am I, why am I like this? <laughs> I am just not happy with this office. This is like, I am temporarily when I first get everything moved, but then I'm not. Like, it's just like a feeling. I'm seeking a feeling. When I feel like the room just like feels balanced and just like looks right and it's just never felt that way. And I know I'm missing like a big area rug. You guys, I've been on the hunt for a rug for like five months. I've ordered tons of samples. I cannot find one. I cannot find one that I like. I don't want a pattern. I want it to be just simple, but I need it to be like a certain like thickness, but I want like a little bit of something in it, not like a solid because you know, we have this back here and we don't want him to like scratch things. It's just a challenge. So mm -hmm, I need to have lunch. It's like 1.30 right now. And when I was out, I picked up some Panera actually, but um, I want to rearrange this room just like a little bit more. He's going to be unhappy about it because I need to move that chair. Oliver, it's coming. He's giving me the eyes like this. You can stay in the chair though. Okay, I'll put you right here. So. <laughs> As you can see, I try to like move my desk to being like over here next to the window, but then it feels like weirdly open over here. Actually, let me talk about it. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so this desk was over here, if you remember, like going long way right here. Then I thought about moving over here, giving it a go. I don't know if I necessarily really like it over there. It feels like just really open and like empty over here now, you know? Um, I kind of like it to be open and empty because I need space to like film and stuff But this just looks awkward too, you know, and then I also moved my clothing rack That was right here just out of the room completely This room is so difficult because I need to have space for filming I need to have like an aesthetic view to like take pictures, but I also have like a ton of incoming clothes and things to organize that I need to see but then I need to have like a filming space for like sit down videos and I still need to have like an office space. Like it's so hard <laughs> to get this room exactly how I want it to go. You guys, I'm chaotic right now. So I moved the clothes into this closet to like just utilize this closet a little bit more versus having like a rack out here in the open to open up the space a little bit and have less things that I need to like move around, I guess. And then I thought I liked the idea of having the mirror right here on this wall. It was like right here, but it was blocking the heater. So I just had to have the heater off like 100% of the time, but I kind of like it right here. And I'm also thinking about if I do like this, about getting like a really like wide big mirror to take up majority of the space. This could be like a really cute, like little area. I could put like a stool or like decorate a little bit more over here, you know? But then I also have to think about like what you see when you look in the mirror, you know? I don't necessarily like that you're looking at the computer right here. I don't know if there's anything I can necessarily do about that though, because the other option I was gonna play around with was moving the desk just like that, but putting it right here long way. So it was like this 
before and now I want to move it like this and then put this chair back in that corner because I really like like when the sun comes in and like for filming purposes that it's closer to the window and to like the natural light you guys do I just sound like super insane and chaotic right now because I feel like I do also to put this uh, mirror right here I had to take down the painting that I had right here the painting the print it's right here I don't know you guys, I feel like this could have been a vibe. What do you think? Could I make it work with it being right here next to the window? Hmm. I'm what you call a lazy mover. I try to do everything like easy and lazy like. Like I'm just gonna keep everything on the desk and see if this works. Slow so we don't tip anything over. I love having carpet because I can just literally drag it. I don't have to lift it. Who remembers when I had my desk right here? I had it at some point right here. Oh, I don't like that in the mirror either. You guys, it's such a dilemma what to do with this room. We're almost finished, you could have stayed. I'm just gonna have to compromise in some way. Okay, I'll stand in the corner next to the heater. So we move the chair over here, we have the desk over here. So if you enter, this is what it would look like. Desk over here, which is a mess that I need to clean. The open space. I don't know. What do you think about this, guys? And then this planter is going to change. This was only, like, temporary. I don't like that. Let me know if you guys have an idea of something maybe I haven't thought about. But I'm going to keep it like this for a little bit, see how I feel about it. I will say I do think that I like that I don't have a clothing rack in here anymore. I just have it in the hallway right now. I'll have to, like, um, disassemble it. But I think that I could suffice with just, like, utilizing the closet in this room. I feel like it just, like, opened up so much space, too, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up a little bit. Okay, I finally had my lunch, worked a ton. There was this thing that I needed to escalate and get approval on. So I had to like hold off on having my lunch until then, but had my lunch, worked some more, was relaxing on the couch for like 30 minutes. But here we are, we're making focaccia bread. Focaccia, focaccia bread, focaccia, whatever. It sounded so, so, so good. I've been wanting to make this for a while, but it's like time intensive because it requires like multiple rest periods. So I have it made it for like that reason because you kind of have to like plan ahead for it, right? So I really want the bread for tomorrow just because it's like the weekend and bread's delicious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So I'm gonna start on it now because there's like a 30 minute rest that I need to do before we do olive oil and all those other things. And then we have to set it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So I just wanna get it done ASAP today so that I can just have all the time in the fridge. So I've already added bread flour and salt. I need to add the instant yeast and water. And that is it. This is a recipe that I got off of TikTok. So I'll make sure I'm linking the TikTok recipe recipe. The recipe is in grams, so I am using my handy dandy scale here to make sure that I'm getting like the right measurements in grams. <laughs> it asked for lukewarm water, so I um, heated up some water on my kettle over there. How much does this weigh? Just on its own. Okay, 81. Let's do some math. I need 450 grams of lukewarm water, so I'm going to get to 531. We need to make sure that it's warm enough to activate the yeast. Why is this in Celsius? God dang, man. Okay, it is a hair too warm. So what I'm gonna do is add cold water and then take some out again. I'm not like a bread expert, so I don't know like how precise this needs to be or not, but you know, I'm just gonna do what I can here. Okay, this is good. Add the yeast. I'm just gonna do the instant yeast, like I said, the rapid rise. One pack of it. I'm gonna mix all of this together first. All right, and let's add the water. 
And this is supposed to be like a no kneading, like super mixing, like sort of um, a recipe. So I'm just gonna mix this right here manually by hand. After it's mixed, I'm gonna cover it with some plastic and let it sit for 30 minutes, just like out here, room temperature. And then we'll come back and start to do a little bit more prep before putting it into the refrigerator. It's coming together. I need to feed my second child, second to Oliver over there. <laughs> and I'm speaking about my Groot. Very parched, we need to water him. You guys, he is doing so well. I'm so excited for like more spring and summer because that's the time that he'll grow more. Cause right now, like he's on like a pedestal in this planter to give more height because I want this to be like big overall right like seven feet tall but right now he's like four feet he's a shorty so i raised him to be i guess taller than me like five five which is great but there's new growth he hasn't had any browning yellowing like nothing i feel like i'm doing right by him and then we rotate him every week he's a happy camper he usually requires like two to three two and a half of these every single week Look at me talking about plants. Like, if this is an adulting, who knew? I never thought that this would be me. I was so against owning plants for her my whole life. Like I grew up with my mom having so many plants in the house and maybe it was just like my way of like rebelling. I was like, no way am I gonna have plants in the house. I don't know. I'm trying to like make sense of it. But we've, um, we turned a new leaf. This is a good start. I like him a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a minute to let the water soak down into the soil. I like to give it some time, like in between. Like I said, I have to do like two, one and two more of those. So in between, I like to mist him so that he's also getting some like moisture on the leaves. Oh, I see a couple of dry spots. Don't do this to me, Groot. Get all up in there. Oliver's looking at me like, what the heck are you doing? Cause he associates water bottles hmm, with something bad. Because when he was a kitten, not that I would necessarily like spray him. I mean, it's just water. So it's not like that big of a deal, you know? But I think like the first couple of times I would like spray him if he was like scratching something or getting into something when he was growing up. But after a while, it was just the sound like, that sound and he would just go running. It was hilarious. That's part of my method for how I uh, disciplined him. <laughs> and it worked because he doesn't scratch any furniture at all. He is a good little boy. Like seriously, doesn't scratch anything. Nothing that he's not supposed to. He doesn't get into anything that he's not supposed to. He's so good, my little boy. It's been over 30 minutes. I just washed my hands, but this now requires me to wet my hands. I'm supposed to take up, pick up the edges and just kind of flop in the center, I guess. So it didn't really say how much olive oil. So we're just gonna add our, hmm, as much as we think we need based off of what the TikTok showed. So there we go. Good enough. We need to olive oil the pan. I'm just gonna use this pan. It's what I have that's big enough. I think you need like quite a bit of olive oil. So it said to olive oil my hand, oh, too. And then we're just gonna tip this over into the pan here. I don't think there's anything else that I'm supposed to do with it because I guess we want it to, oh, I can't even see any of that, sorry guys. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is kind of like what it looks like when I just like flopped it in there, but by putting it in the fridge overnight and stuff, it should like help to form its shape a little bit more and like fill in all of this space. So we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. But for now, 
I'm gonna cover this. I think that this will do just fine. And then we're gonna place this in the fridge. I need to make room and leave it there until tomorrow. And then we'll come back to this. Oh, how to make some room. You guys, I am looking for a new fridge. I feel like this fridge is like too small and it doesn't like utilize the space effectively in my mind. So we'll see if I actually do it, but I have started looking for new fridges. Juan's home. Juan is home. We are gonna go on a little adventure. <laughs> it's like 6.30 to go to Total Wine to look at tequila, because why not? And then also go to Trader Joe's. I ended up, you guys, getting the Sambas in black. What do you think of these shoes, babe? They are for playing soccer. They are. This specific one is for soccer, because mm -hmm. it has a longer tongue, but there are Sambas that are for lifestyle, too. It's pretty well known. Yeah. In the soccer world. Yeah, sure. <laughs> But I ordered a size three and a half kids and it was too small, surprisingly. That's like my go-to size. So then I had to order a size four in kids. What do we think? Ready for a game? Huh? Ready for a game? Ready for a game. I'm just field ready, babe. Right. Let's go. I'm not gonna wear those right now. I'm gonna wear my Uggs. Do you want me to turn off the fireplace? Yeah. You're just leaving. found the one I was after. There's only two boxes and the other one's kind of damaged, so. Back home, we didn't grab too much from Trader Joe's. We ended up getting two bags of these beef and broccoli meals i think like one of the most delicious things from trader joe's they are so good and then juan ended up getting his prosciutto it's like a really good deal there this looked really good this garlicky pasta and then of course some limes because i am going to be making a margarita tonight got some cheese and green chili tamales this looked delicious too this crunchy chili onion like sauce to like put on i don't know asian dishes and stuff that we make and then juan ended up getting a bag of blood oranges and then from total wine we both ended up picking up a bottle each so i went with mi Henta. it is a blanco tequila we'll do a taste test in a second if my camera would focus <laughs> and then this is the scotch whiskey that juan ended up getting too good morning loves we need to do our skincare get ready for the day go downstairs have our lemon water but also juan is begging to have breakfast and i think we might like make pancakes or something like that but i thought it'd be fun to show you guys like my updated morning skincare routine i have completely like redone my skincare my hair just fell out. I feel like my skin has started to change that most of the products I was using before just weren't doing it for me anymore. Like I was experiencing more breakouts and yeah, sure, like some of it has to do with diet and hormones, but I think some of it also has to do with what you apply topically and like with the seasons changing and like what your skin like can tolerate too. So I went ahead and got new skincare products. And on top of that, I feel like a lot of it, let's start putting the water so that we can get it warm was that for i just lost my train of thought last month for like my monthly favorites i started like dipping into the world of k-beauty and korean skincare right and i love korean skincare like all the products are super gentle yet effective great for like sensitive skin but also acne prone and all of like the ingredients are like super clean too like they're not poor clogging ingredients and stuff like that so yeah that's kind of like what's kind of inspired all this and i have been doing this for i want to say like over three weeks now and honestly my skin has never looked better i'm still trying to deal with a little bit of clearing up post acne marks from when i had like these cysts on my face and stuff like that but as far as my skin just like being clear and starting to get like more even tone and producing less oil and just feeling like as smooth as a baby's bottom 
Do you know what I mean? I'm loving it. I've been loving my skincare routine. This one is like the newest edition. This is not QBD, but I switched out my cleanser too. And I've only been using this for a couple of days. So the jury is still out on this. I still have to report back on it, but I am using this gel cleanser. It's so unique because it like makes your skin feel so refreshed. I always put my, by the way, my cleanser on with like just wet hands and my face dry just to like do the most and I'll just like dap in some water to help it do its job. But anyways, this one it's like kind of like minty fresh. It feels like refreshing and tingly. Like it's a very interesting cleanser that I haven't experienced before. This has like so many like raving reviews and it's great for sensitive skin, but yeah, like very thorough in getting it very clean. And I always have to do like a gel cleanser um, for my skin. I just said that I kind of have like oily skin, but I really have combo skin Like it gets really oily for me around my nose and on my chin um, Kind of in my forehead not really but it's mostly like this area that gets really oily But the other parts are pretty normal. I can't use like heavy creams and things on my face Oh, I can feel like the tingling cooling like sensation. It feels so nice morning and night It just feels like Oh, much needed. And then I also use these disposable face cloths because using just like a towel version, I mean, yes, I just use one of these morning and night. Like I'll use the same one right now and also at night and then I like throw it away and it helps to make sure that like there's not like a ton of bacteria on this and just keep like using it on your face, you know? It's so much better. So now toner. I have been using this Heartleaf Soothing Toner. I think the major difference like that I made with my skin was just making sure that it's hydrated. Like again, like I said, I can't use creams and that sort of stuff, but you can still have oily skin yet have dehydrated skin. And I think for me, like it was just about finding like that balance and making sure that I was still getting like the moisture that my skin just like desperately needed. So this is like very soothing, calming, but gives the moisture back to my skin. So I'm just gonna put this all over. And this is a KBD product. And then I also have been using this snail mucin essence. It has been game changer, you guys. I really, really like it. And it truly is snail mucin. Like, do you see? Like it's so wild to me, but it's hydrating and it doesn't make my skin like oily or anything off the day. Kind of just like soaks in. It's not like sticky. It's fine under makeup too, but it also helps with like your acne and making your skin tone like more even and stuff. So I've been using that kind of like morning and nights. And then the next thing I go in is my vitamin C serum. This is the IS Clinical Super Serum Advanced. So yeah, this hasn't changed in my routine, but my skin is very picky when it comes to vitamin C, and I have seen lots of success with using this one. It doesn't break out my skin. I feel like it's effective. I see a difference if you're using it. So I'm just gonna put that, pat it on. And then after this, we're just gonna go in with our um, gel moisturizer. Sometimes, depending on like my skin, I could go in with this calming serum from Beauty of Josen, but I usually reserve this for night. Otherwise, I don't wanna like layer too much. I wanna keep it like more simple. But I also switched out my moisturizer and I got the Beauty of Josen Red Bean Water Gel. This is, I think, like a new release. When I got it, product only had like 19 reviews, but all of the reviews were like so good. But the Red Bean, if I'm not mistaken, it's great for those that have oily skin because it helps to like, I don't know, like neutralize or help reduce the oil production and stuff but it's so moisturizing like my skin drinks it up and then it doesn't like get oily throughout the day it stays like more matte so i really really like that and then i'm not going anywhere today so i'm not going to put on spf i don't like to put on spf if i'm just like at home you don't need to put on spf every single day in my opinion but when i do i have been using the video of Josen spf it's really really nice i shared it in like my favorites video and I have been really enjoying it, but that is it. That is my morning skincare routine. Everything that I just shared with you guys, I'll make sure everything is obviously linked down below for you, but 
my morning routine is just like my happy place like just my skincare routine in general like i i really look forward to coming in and doing like a little bit of self-care spending time with myself and getting like my skin in the perfect spot let's go ahead go downstairs and prepare our lemon water I'm put this in my hair really fast though i have been loving having shorter hair i don't know you guys i just feel like it looks so much better overall just like refreshed and i just can't believe that this is all my natural hair color i have never ever seen the day even when i was a teenager like i was dying my hair so i don't think i've ever seen my hair color like fully like this and especially like when i was a kid i had lighter hair like i was more like bright blonde like growing up i had really blonde hair and as i gotten older like my hair has just like darkened and so it's wild to see my hair like this but i'm in love with it and i don't see it changing anytime soon like it's like it's funny now that like i look back at pictures when i had blonde hair and i just don't feel like it fits me does that that's like so weird to me like i feel like this fits me so much better okay anyways i'm rambling let's go downstairs babe do you want lemon water well no lemon water and then i probably will he changed his mind. Babe, that's so loud. Why do we need to have this so loud? <laughs> Sorry if you can hear Juan watching TV. So we're gonna make some lemon water really quickly. He changed his mind. So I'm gonna make two, but I came down and he already has like everything laid out and ready to go to make pancakes. So he's just like a little excited about it. <laughs> Half have a lemon each. Babe, did you like having the pink sea salt in it? Yep. It's good, right? Why can't I open this? Okay, so we're gonna top it with just like a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt and then our straws. Cheers, now we are officially ready to make our pancakes. Babe, so you set out all the ingredients, uh -huh. but he didn't want to make it? Babe, you want to do recording? Uh-huh. So we have you sitting on the tequila box that we got yesterday. We ended up not even making margaritas yesterday. Well, that for sure is going to happen today. I went ahead and put my hair back, but you got this, this bottle. It was like so pretty. I'm excited. I really want to taste it later. All right, so we're making these gluten-free pumpkin pancakes that we got from Trader Joe's last fall. I think that these are still good. Yeah, babe, these are good for like almost a full year. Yeah, so like yeah, so when the season comes, we're buying like 15 of these. These are legitimately the best pancakes, and I love that they're gluten-free too. So we've kind of been like savory this we haven't had it like too much okay so following the instructions here we want one cup of this babe this gave us the right amount last time right like we didn't make more after this I don't think so. oh baby smell so good if i really need to follow instructions then i'll keep that separate because it wants the egg first oh. is this the perfect amount of butter babe yeah yeah, we go. I think so. Yeah. Okay, we have the egg, melted butter. One, two. <laughs> well, I got excited and I just put the mix in here, but the instructions wants me to like mix all like the wet ingredients first, and I was like, mm, I don't think it really matters, but I'm gonna follow the instructions, you know? Oh, babe, we have the focaccia bread. Ooh, I'm excited to make that today. Should we just like take it out now and let it sit for 90 minutes? Like, do I really need to wait until the afternoon? It depends on when we want to eat it, baby. Just in the oven, I don't think that much time. No, it's 30 minutes. Yeah. We can do anything up some. Do you smell this? It smells so good. No, no. You can do it with a spoon. A spoon? Dose of the jack. So good. So I'm gonna have one pancake with this and then the other 
with maple syrup. Let's do this, babe. Should I make room for two? Oh, this is fine. No. Last night we watched the first episode of Yellow Jackets because the first episode was free. And we're like, okay, let's see if this episode could get us hooked or not because Yellow Jackets is on Showtime and we don't have Showtime and we don't really want to pay for it either. And so, needless to say, I'm wanting more. Juan, verdict is still out. I feel like you're saying you want a couple more episodes to determine. But oh, I, I, I thought. You need more. I thought the first episode was like really good, but man, dang it. Like we're gonna have to get Showtime for a little bit in order to watch Yellow Jackets. But Showtime offers a free seven day trial. So we were joking about trying to binge watch all of it within the seven days and then canceling it before we have to pay for it. <laughs> but the problem is babe, is that the second season is like current out. Yeah. So if we truly wanted to do that, we would have to wait till the second season is finished. Or we can at least just pay for the first month and then figure it out afterwards. Because I actually don't know what else is on Showtime. Do you? That's the problem. You are going to like it and we are going to keep it. Yeah, we're going to like it and then we're going to keep it. Always the problem. Okay, one of them, we're going to put good old dulce de leche. So good. We ended up buying this at Boca Bakery in Seattle. It was a really good price and it's like a big bottle and it's Juan's like favorite brand of Dolce de Leche too. It's this one. Can you open this? It's all crusty. I can't open it. Thank you. And do this without overdoing it. Delish. And here we have it. I just pulled out the bread. Let's take a look. Ah! This looks amazing do you see that massive oh, bubble so we're gonna have to let this sit for 90 minutes get it back down to room temperature before we do like the next step so there we go i finally got changed man pretty much the whole morning without it i have been doing like some um online looking for like furniture and stuff because i just desperately want a rug for my office but then i also just really finally want to finish up on the guest bedroom let's actually go over there because i have um some clothes over there that i really need it to organize with the outfit today not too interesting i don't think just really casual since i'm just gonna be around the house right have on some sweatpants from aritzia these ones are pretty old i have on this oversized half zip from lululemon this is actually from the men's section i just got it in a size extra small fits perfectly one of like the align high neck tanks underneath just because it's easy and then i kind of like this headband so i'm gonna keep it in for today helps to keep the hair out of my face like a little bit kind of like it digging it uh okay no judgment here please because this room is a disaster um, it was like, oh my god, do you guys remember this? I was like on a mission to like finish decorating this room and then I kind of like was in an indecisive rut and I feel like I'm finally through it but I made like some half decisions but essentially I'm gonna like redo everything in here. I have like in a different vision cause like when I last was looking at this it was like way over a year ago. So my style has like changed a little bit. So I'll show you. <laughs> everything but also I have a ton of clothes in here too I have been starting to go through my closet starting to do like a big closet purge and what I really desperately need to do in here today is sort through everything I said no judgment <laughs> Okay, so this is what the room looks like right now. You can see I have piles and piles of clothes over here. We'll talk about that in a second. But like decor wise, I guess, I am gonna switch out this rug. I love this rug, there's nothing wrong with it. But I need a rug with like structure and backing to go on top of carpet. This was a 
poor decision on my part because I always have to like pull this to like flatten it out if people walk on it. Also, I think I'm gonna go for one that is like cream or white. Um, for the bed frame, I am still gonna go with like the soft frames design bed frame. I'm still trying to decide between the classic and the ultra as far as like thickness goes, like around right. If you remember, I got like a ton of like swatches to see what color I wanted to get but like my gut wants white and like my head wants like a sandy color but I feel like I need to go with my gut like I need to go with what I'm thinking I want because otherwise I'm not going to be like completely happy you know what I mean so I think I'm gonna go with white I just need to figure out if I want the classic or the ultra size which I will make that decision today I'm forcing myself to and then I also got these nightstands but realistically I need something with like some storage in it so I'm gonna sell these and I'm gonna get different ones I'm gonna get like wood small ones that are like squared. I saw some on Pottery Barn that I really like, so I'm gonna order that today. This bench, I needed to see if there is enough room to keep it here. So I don't have like a lot of width right here, right? And essentially the ultra bed frame comes to where this rug ends and then the classic is like five inches shorter so i might have to move this bench probably down to the first floor and then this desk is going to i wanted to try to get like a tall dresser or something to utilize this little divot over here a little bit just to have some storage space if people come to visit i have these in the closet which is good storage but i think i want something else in the actual bedroom too so that's kind of like a summary of what is going through my mind for decor wise for this bedroom but let's move on to this clothing and i know it's a lot but i want to start to organize this a little bit more so that i can go through my closet and not just like throw things in this pile like it's just like a little bit more organized you know so i went and picked up three bins from target yesterday and this was my idea to help like organize things and also probably move this out of this room um, and figure out another place to keep it probably somewhere on like the first floor so i was thinking like one bin just being full-on donations this bin being for things that are already listed for sale like on poshmark for instance and then the last bin being things that i need to list so that's kind of like what i was thinking so i'm gonna go through and organize this a bit and and I'll let you watch me organize it. I'm also thinking for things that have been on Poshmark for like a while, I'm gonna take down the listing and then just put it in the donations bin. So I need to kind of like compare. I need to grab my phone, see what's listed, um, and then start to take things down too. Cause I just, I don't wanna hang on to this stuff for this long. Like this is a mess. I hate this. It brings so much clutter to my mind and it makes me feel so anxious like i don't want this so everything that was on the desk was things that were listed and i kind of already like went through this a little bit so we're gonna keep this and i think the idea being like if one of the bins is full like the list on poshmark and it starts to overfill then i need to go through it and move it to the donations bin instead like I don't wanna go beyond the constraints of these three bins. And then when the donations bin gets full, then Juan and I will go do like a donations run, you know? When I think about yesterday. I have so much Lululemon in here that I need to list for sale. Like Wonder Train bike shorts and stuff. Oh man. Deciding to part with some of like my always effortless jackets too. I just have so many jackets. Like I have to, I have to get rid of some stuff. And I feel like I've been using the longer ones I have more so than the short ones. My oh my. My oh my. So I did. 
Okay, I think that this is a really good start. I moved the desk out and then I brought this art piece in here just for now. I want to see like once I have the rug, once I have the nightstand, once I have the bed frame, if it would work in here and like maybe go above the bed, like on this huge blank wall, you know? Okay, but as far as all of the clothing goes, I think that this is a good start. Obviously, every single one of them is overflowing, so I need to take action on that, kind of like what I was talking about. But for now, this is looking so much better than what it was before. So all of this is things to donate. All of this is already things listed on Poshmark. And then all of this stuff is things to list on Poshmark. So this is a pile that will end up growing more so, like when I start to pull things from my closet. But I mean, like, I think I could sell some of the stuff like these. I haven't even worn. I have some Gucci slides that I'm deciding to part with and then some Yeezy 700s that I haven't even worn at all. So I'm wondering about just like selling these on like StockX or something. Like I need to look into it. Then underneath we have like a whole pile of clothes. Lululemon, sweat sets, Aritzia, a Goldie jeans, like a whole big thing. And then like these and stuff, like I just never really wore them. But I have way too many sneakers, so I need to part with some stuff. We're getting ready to make lunch. We're just gonna have some like pasta with vodka sauce. Juan also had the idea of making like this juice. These are blood oranges and then mixing it with some Campari too. So let's see how this goes. But I brought out two wine glasses. Let's taste the thing. Ah, I'm so excited for this. Here's it. Oh, you're just straight up gulping it. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I've never had a blood orange before. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That's pretty dang good, babe. You guys should try this. It's so good. Yum, this looks so, so, so good. Fresh Parmesan all over it. Babe. What? He went. No, already? Yeah. God, <laughs> he's obsessed. I think he likes it just because. It's hidden? No, because he can get it. He cannot get it. Oh, yes, that's just like the philosophy for anybody. Like you always want what you want what you can't have. Yeah. If it would be open, sure, he would done that, but it wouldn't be his favorite. It spot. wouldn't be all the time. Because just like how he kind of rotates between yeah. going over there, there, there. If he attacks me though, then that's gonna be another thing. Cheers again. Cheers. Babe. Look. Wait, wait. See. See all the air coming out? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Do we see the beauty that is this bread? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. Oh, babe, get some olive oil and balsamic together for dipping. <laughs> we are missing it. Juan had to go oh, no, no, no. play Apex, so oh. he ditched us for the this initial was, uh, taste testing here. Which piece? Focaccia. I'm gonna do just this one. Mm. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. Mm. It is so good. And the parmesan on top was key. It tastes amazing. 
Wow. Wow. So while I was waiting for the bread to like cool down, I went ahead and ordered new nightstands for the guest bedroom. And then I found what? a rug. I am so excited for this rug. I hope it is exactly what I think it's going to be like from like the customer reviews, like leaving pics and everything like that. Like I'm so excited about it. So TBD on that, I'll show it when it comes in. It'll come in like later this week. I actually got it off of Wayfair, but it looks like one that you could get off of like West Elm or Crate and Barrel. Like I'm really excited about it. And if it looks as good as I hope it does, I plan on just buying it for my office too. So it'll be the same rug that I have in both the guest bedroom and my office. So fingers crossed. I know I wanted to like pick the bed frame. I said I was going to, but I think I'm gonna wait for the nightstands and the rug to come in and see what it all looks like and then finalize that. I feel like the problem with it is that I don't have space for the ultra. It's just too long and too wide for this bedroom. Like the bedroom's really small, but it's the one I want. And I'm like talking myself into getting like the classic one because that's the one that fits the space the best. But it's not the one I want, you know? So like when I go to the Instagram page and like look at photos and stuff, I'm just like, God dang, I really want the ultra, but I just, it's not gonna fit. Mm. So I'm trying to like justify it in my mind, but like really, I should just get over it and move on with the classic, you know? It's just the ultra looks so good with like the plush sides. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like a cloud bed dupe. Like it's oh, like the plush sides that go all the way around the bed and stuff like that. Oh, it looks so good. I want it. Mm. What? You need to die so that you can have a bite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is finally that time of the night where we are going to try this tequila. Me had this. So this is the Blanco. And I already got stuff out right here. Can't see it. To make a spicy marg right after we're done doing a little taste of this. This bottle is so pretty. I actually really like like the pink on it. Oh, it's a glass thing. Mm. A little taste test. I don't know much about tequilas. I feel like this smells nice. It's not like strong or overwhelming. It definitely doesn't give off any smell that it smells like alcohol, for instance. That's really nice, babe. Is it? Are they tall? Surprising, yeah. That's like it's pretty smooth. There is no burn. Wait, I'm kind of shocked. You want more than that? Well, I didn't know how much you wanted to commit to. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. I recommend it. I like it. How much was this again? I think it was like $47. So mid price tequila, maybe more on the expensive side, but it's a good one for sure. Making a drink. Oh, I need my uh, sugar. Now that I've had a sip, I'm like wondering if I want a little bit more than what I thought I did. Like make like one and a half margaritas. One and a half. Yeah. Well, because you guys know the portions, like it's kind of like half of a glass, like it's small. So just like a little bit more. Are you going to have anything? Are you going to try your whiskey or no? No. Okay. I have my recipe written down because I sometimes forget it, so it's nice to have it handy. I mean, I don't make them that often. <laughs> like the spicy marg, you know? So we're gonna do three ounces. Actually, I'm probably just gonna like speed through this really quickly, but the recipe will be down in the description. <laughs> good oh i think it did spill over on the sides a little messy but delicious as always 
Cheers, guys. all upstairs, cleaned up my office some more, vacuums, um, the bathroom, washed my makeup brushes. It's been a couple weeks for that too, so that was desperately needed too. I also like fully got ready too. Guys, productive. Great. So I think it's after one o'clock right now. Yeah, it's 1.13 and yeah, I got ready today because we're actually going to go to the movies with, um, with one of our friends, which I'm so excited about. We're going to go see the Mario movie. Juan's been really wanting to see that way before like it even like came out. So we're going to go to the theaters. I'm so excited for movie theater popcorn. It's like the best reason to go. I love the popcorn so much. I've also started to upload all the footage to start to edit this vlog so I want to make sure I'm trying to edit some of it today to get ahead of the week before the week starts and all the craziness that comes with that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog here. It's definitely a long one. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in a couple of days in my next video. Bye! Bye.